have the great privilege to lead the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center Department of Urology. And it's really a phenomenal group of individuals. We have 16 faculty focused on adult urology, and we have another six faculty with academic appointments in the department uh, who are focused on pediatric urology and whose practices are at the Nationwide Children's Hospital. I'm happy to say that we provide care to patients in Central Ohio and beyond throughout the state of Ohio across all of urology. This year, I expect we'll see over 22,000 patients across six sites of practice. The Department of Pediatric Urology at Nationwide Children's is pretty special. We are one of the largest departments in the country. We are a referral base for children with complex conditions who come here from all over the country and even from all over the world. We are part of the colorectal program here, and this is the largest such center in the world. This is not only reconstruction using classic open techniques, we also have one of the largest pediatric robotic surgery programs in the country. Just recently, the Department of Urology and the Department of Nephrology combined to emphasize research. We have NIH-funded researchers that are investigating complex conditions such as obstructive uropathy and urinary tract infections. We see a huge number of patients who come in to see us with stones. Uh, we also function as a tertiary referral center for kidney stones, so urologists throughout the state who have difficult patients with stones often send them over to us for management. We offer a range of different procedures for stones, starting from simple observation to shockwave lithotripsy to ureteroscopy and laser lithotripsy to uh, percutaneous stone surgery. So some of our more recent developments have been in ureteroscopy with the uh, advent of the thulium fiber laser. So we actually did the first North American case with the thulium laser just prior to the pandemic. Um, and then since then have adopted it as our uh, mainstay laser to treat stones. Several faculty are engaged in clinical research to improve the care of our patients to fuel clinical research, to advance remote healthcare delivery, and to enhance patient education. We're also keenly aware that there are many vulnerable communities that may be less engaged in clinical research. We understand that health equity means developing our workforce, re-examining the way we bring care to our patients, and also thinking deeply about the social determinants of health that impacts so many of our patients. Bladder cancer care has been very key to our department for many years. It's really grown uh, in the last few years. We continue to grow that program in our department. We do a lot of complex procedures and a lot of complex surgeries in this disease. And this is a population of individuals um, who suffer from many health problems. And it can be a very complex situation to deal with not just the cancer but the overall patient themselves so we have a very large program uh, in the area of treating individuals with bladder cancer that program has allowed us to really build a multidisciplinary approach to the way that we deliver care here at the ohio state university wexner medical center when it comes to bladder cancer we collaborate very closely with our medical oncologists our radiation oncologists but our level of collaboration goes much deeper than that. Uh, we have a very fantastic stomal nursing team. We collaborate with physiotherapists, with nutritionists, with uh, our sexual medicine program and bring everybody together as we focus on the care. I think the uh, environment for bladder cancer discovery here at Ohio State is, is really rich um, because of the different people in different departments and centers at the university who are excited by bladder cancer. The first area of focus for us is in trying to understand on a molecular level uh, more about the process of bladder carcinogenesis. In order to do this, we're studying a carcinogen-induced mouse model called the BBN model. 
Another area of focus for us is in trying to understand the bladder cancer tumor immune microenvironment by studying the interactions of immune cells and bladder cancer cells in vitro. Uh, we analyze the cells present in bladder cancers in our mouse models and also by analyzing tissues including blood, urine, and bladder tumor tissue from our own patients uh, who can send to our institutional bladder cancer tissue registry here. The Department of Urology hopes to deliver transformational urologic care. We see our future being very bright. Our faculty and learners are growing in numbers. The expansion of our research and clinical facilities is outstanding, and we're really translating research into the clinic. All of this will allow us to have the greatest impact that we can on the delivery of urologic care in our communities.